if you've got a loved one if you've got a loved one lost i got news for you you just keep praying god get a hold of them and i'll guarantee you god's going to answer your prayer yes, he, will. Yes, he will listen jesus didn't mean for us to choose the ones that we think needs to be chosen right. listen god he didn't put us in a category Sister Lester, where we can pick and choose. Well, that guy over there, he smells real bad. Or this this guy back here in the corner, he ain't got he ain't dressed just real proper. I'm gonna use this guy sitting here. He's an awful big guy. I hope he don't get mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna take somebody sitting over in the corner. That's just I'm not saying he is or anything, Sister Lester, but that's just laid back kind of quiet, got their head hung down a lot. Because why? Because they're scared to death of what's going to happen. Amen. They're scared to death of what somebody's going to say. Well, they're, they're not dressed real good. They smell kind of bad. But I got news for you. You still, as a child of God, That's right. love them. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Stand up, minute, brother. <laughs> no matter, you might want to do this. Be real now, people. Uh -huh. I've been around some people. I still get around some, but I want to do that sometimes. But still yet, as a child of God, we have to be able to hug their neck and say, Hey, brother, I love you. Amen. Amen. We have to do that. Why? Because you're a child of God. Amen. And it's your responsibility to show that person they're not alone. Amen. To show that person that they're not going through the world by their self. Right. To show them people, whether it be young, I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Here, young man. Whether it be young, That's right. <laughs> laid back, yeah. crippled, yeah. don't smell real good. Smell pretty good. Don't you? <laughs> See what my wife's doing? She does that all the time. I appreciate that. When, when I get to. <laughs> See, I, I'm okay, but when she she puts that hand out, she shake that finger. I'm pretty good, but she puts that hand out. <laughs> but we have to love the people. He meant love the unlovable. Amen. He meant love the ones that's broken. How many in here have seen the person that's, I mean, completely broken? Amen. Everybody ought to have their hand up. Amen. How many in their lifetime have seen people completely, I mean, completely broken? Their, their spirit's broken. They're not only broken in body, but they're broken, their mind is broken. Yes. That's true. I have run across, I've run across young people that couldn't tell you what they had yesterday for lunch. Amen. Or they couldn't tell you where they was at yesterday. And sad to say, I've been in some churches that the people, when they left the church, can't tell you what the man of God or the woman of God preached on. Why? Because they was preoccupied with something else, and their mind was lost. They was broken. They're broken apart. Sister Lois, I mean, they're, they're broken to the point where they don't think they can be helped. But I got news for you. That's true. They can be helped. That's right. Um, why do you say that, preacher? Because the Word of God says we have to love the ones that's broken. We have to love the unlovable. We have to love the ones that nobody can get through to. There's somebody out there, I'll guarantee you, nobody else can get through to them. But lo and behold, let a short, fat preacher guy come around. I'm talking about myself now. Nobody else in here. I'm talking about myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sister Clinton? You say.